Hello everyone and welcome back to English Valley Cafe. I'm Anne. Today in this video, I'm super excited to share with you common abbreviations that native English speakers use in their daily conversations. And you will also see these abbreviations in informal writings as well. So I hope that by sharing these abbreviations with you, you'll be able to understand native English speakers better. You'll be able to understand some of the informal written text that you read. And best of all, I hope that you can use it in your speaking to help you sound more natural. Now, some of these abbreviations are used more often in writing, um, informal writings. Some of them are used more when we are speaking. So I will point that out to you as we go through these abbreviations. Now, before we get into the video, if you are an English learner who's looking to improve your confidence in everyday speaking, improve your vocabulary and your English pronunciation, consider subscribing and tap on that bell notification icon so that you can notify every time I upload a new video or when I go live. All right, so let's get into the video. So for each of these abbreviations, first we'll go over the pronunciation of the word and then we'll talk about the abbreviation and how to use it in a sentence. So our first word here is conversation. 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 And the abbreviation that you will see here is convo. Convo. Now here for convo, we often use, I would say more in um, writing, in informal writing. So you'll probably see this like on a social media post or um, like in chats, when you chat with your friends, you can use this convo. An example, the team had a long convo about the upcoming new product launch. The next word here is refrigerator. This is a tough one for a lot of English learners. Refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerator. The good thing here is a lot of times when we are speaking, we often say fridge, fridge, ch, fridge. If you have trouble with that ch sound at the end of the word, I do have a video on that, so you can check that out. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Again, fridge, fridge. So if you're finding this word refrigerator too difficult to say, just say fridge. Example, we need a bigger fridge. Could you put that in the fridge for me? Moving on to the next word, another long word here, administration. Say it with me, administration, administration, administration. And here we often use the abbreviation admin, admin. Say it with me, admin. An example, she has to include admin time into her working hours. Administration just refers to like the activities, the things that you have to do to keep a business running or to run an organization. So administration or admin. The next word here is information, information. Do you know what the abbreviation is for information, you guessed it, that is info, info. So you'll often people say this in an informal um, speaking. So for example, let's say you are buying a new car. So you can say, I need more info about this new car. Could you give me more info on the pricing of the car? The next word here is favorite. Say it with me favorite, favorite. And you'll often see the abbreviation fave, 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 fave. Fave is often used in informal writings, um, but you'll hear people say something like, uh, the pasta on their menu is my fave. So it is used in speaking once in a while, but 
Um, I would say mainly it's used in informal writings. Now this next abbreviation, actually I should say it's an acronym because it's the first letter of different words put together acronym is quite popular here in California recently. So if you live in California or you're visiting California, you have probably seen BOGO, B-O-G-O. -O. And this stands for buy one, get one, or buy one, get one free. So if you buy one, you get another one for free. So BOGO. Now, I'm not sure if the other states here in America use BOGO. Um, if you are watching this and you have seen it from a different state other than California, let me know in the comments or even in Canada. Um, I'm not sure if this term or acronym is being used. So BOGO is buy one, get one free. And you'll see this in grocery stores, like the store is having a BOGO sale. Or, um, oh, is this on sale? Is it BOGO? Meaning that is a buy one, get one free. Okay, BOGO. The next one here is AC, and it stands for air conditioning. Air conditioning. Um, you'll often hear people say this. Uh, for example, is the AC on? Is hot in here? Or could you turn on the AC? AC, air conditioning. So these are some abbreviations or acronyms that I wanted to share with you because they come up so often in daily conversations and I hope that this will help you to sound more natural when you speak English or when you are writing, um, doing informal writings and better yet be able to understand native speakers better uh, when they use these abbreviations. That's it for this video. If you enjoy it, find it useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell no notification icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you back here next week for a new lesson. Take care, bye.